Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some updates for NVIDIA's RTX 50 series of graphics cards. This is going to focus on power consumption figures, as well as some performance and specification updates. Uh, some of this information is courtesy of a PSU manufacturer, but also, very interestingly, the same manufacturer has listed a mysterious AMD GPU, which presumably is based in RDNA 3 and would be a much higher performance tier than any of the GPUs which are currently available. We're going to get into all of that, plus some more stuff, after this quick message from the sponsor of the video. If you're running a copy of Windows 10, which isn't activated, of course, not only do you have to worry about the missing customization options, but there's also that annoying Windows desktop watermark reminding you to activate. Today's video is sponsored by WhoKeys.com, and they have an excellent price on Windows 10 Professional, as well as Home Keys. Yeah, and they also, of course, sell games. I've bought a few Windows 10 keys with my own personal account to test everything was legit and worked in preparation for this sponsored video. You can pick up one of their keys for 25% off using the coupon code RGT in the checkout. There's links to their website in the video description. Also, if you're building a few systems, there's bundles available too. Again, you can check out whokeys.com and use the coupon code RGT for 25% off the listed Windows 10 key prices. So this is actually really interesting. A well-known power supply manufacturer, Seasonic, on their website basically has listed um, RTX 50. Uh, 5050 all the way up to 5090s power consumption figures so I also have been reaching out to some of my sources um, and so we're going to go into my information in a moment but I really want to go through the Seasonic thing first I want to give credit to Ulrak29 who I believe was the first person to spot this we'll get into the AMD stuff in just a second but first of all the RTX 5090 according to this listing anyway is 500 watts which is up 50 watts over the 4090s base power consumption. You can get some models which do go higher, but let's ignore those. The 5080 is 350 watts. Oh, by the way, all of these are using a 1x 16 pin power connector. Then you have the 5070 at 220 watts. The 5060 is 170 watts. And finally, the RTX 5050, which is the lowest end GPU listed here anyway, is just 100 watts. So yeah, it's basically just sipping on the power here. Now, interestingly, a 7990 XTX is also being listed in amongst the various GPUs, which of course are as yet a unreleased and B, not confirmed by either AMD or NVIDIA. Now, I want to talk about the, um, the 7990 XTX first. Now, I'm making a assumption this is RDNA 3 based because otherwise you would presume it would be like RX 8000. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But additionally, it could be um, quite a while back, I heard some rumors that there was a GCD that was actually larger than N31. If memory serves, it had like 60 workgroup processors, but that is from memory. I do not have my notes on hand, so that is potentially wrong. Either way, the exact configuration of the GPU doesn't matter. What does matter is that it was a higher performance tier, again, than N31. Uh, even N31 seems to have been cut back, like, um, there are the TSVs on the MCDs of N31, and originally, of course, there were a lot of rumors from myself and Astronomics, plus some others, that we would see uh, basically like uh, additional cache variants. So essentially, you would have like extra cache bolted on, doubling the amount of uh, infinity cache on the GPUs. But again, that never saw the light of day either, presumably because of cost reasons or what have you. And uh, basically, AMD just released, well, the cards that we currently have. So, my theory with Seasonic, I mean, it's very possible they just made stuff up, or um, they had a listing that was really old for potentially a GPU, and they basically put it on the calculator. I don't think this is coming out. I mean, it'd be kind of cool... But I don't think they would. Uh, AMD, at least right now, as far as I understand it, are all guns blazing at RDNA 4, which again is looking like it's going to be Q1 for 48 and Q2 for 44. Um, 
So anyway, let's move back on to the NVIDIA thing. Now, at this point, I don't believe the specifications have been totally locked in for any of the models. Um, now, GB202, for example, is up to 192 SM. Um, and it's got a 512-bit bus. Now, it's possible that they could adjust that, you know, they might decide to make an entirely different variant before launch. Anything can happen. But assuming they stick with GB202 in its current form, and I think they probably will, that is the maximum configuration. Now, there have been a lot of rumors from, I think it was Panzerlide that was stating that it was 448-bit bus, and there was also a 3 gigahertz target for the 1590. Now, another one of my sources way before Panzerlide had said uh, anything had said that it, the GPUs do boost over 3 gigahertz. Panzerlide basically said it's 2.9 gigahertz for the base frequency. I've spoken to yet another source, and they have told me that yes, so far, as, well, as long as like the wheels don't fall off the wagon, 3 gigahertz plus for the boost target is still a thing, and it's going to be basically quite close to 3 gigahertz for base frequency. Now, what about the power consumption figures and the rest of the specifications? Well, let's get into the power consumption figures first. So, according to a source that I've spoken to, the numbers, uh, as in the power consumption figures, are not 100% um, from C Sonic. Now, it's possible my source is um, using older information or what have you, but I was told 460, 490, and 550. Basically, these are BIOS, um, you know, essentially they're just testing different BIOSes internally to figure out which one they want to go with. But what about performance and the SM configuration? Well, I had one source tell me that they were looking, that is NVIDIA, at the 1590 being configured with roughly 160 SM. Now, I'm told roughly because you can go up and down from there. Like, you could say slightly lower or, you know, higher, but either way, around 160. However, I've also spoken to other sources and they have told me that at this point, NVIDIA have not locked in the specifications they are still deciding what they want to go with. Now, there are several reasons for this. One, basically, they have no competition. RDNA 4, as we all know at this stage, is not going to be as performant as the higher-end um, RTX 50 cards, so I don't really need to add uh, anything to that. It's just, you know, as what it is. The next, though, is they can't also have the cards suck. Now, in, from what I am understanding, NVIDIA could easily add 50% performance over the 1490 quite comfortably. Not only because we have a crap ton of additional memory bandwidth thanks to GDDR7, and also I've heard there's some improvements to the cache, but additionally, um, they're running the GPUs at higher clock frequency, they've got more SMs they could, you know, theoretically enable, plus a bunch of architectural improvements. They could easily go over 50% in raster performance alone. The question is, do they want to or do they want to not do that? And obviously there is that thing of like, well, most people generally upgrade every two generations. So that would mean that a lot of folks now are looking from like a 3090 or a 3080, especially now that um, texture requirements, VRAM requirements are kind of going whoop. So it's like, do you want to kind of how are we going to appeal to those people? And also for those who have a lot of money, they still may want to upgrade from the 50, sorry, from a 4090. Um, part, but there are also other concerns they have. I don't know what their yields are like on their processes, um, not with any degree of certainty, so I can't comment on that. But um, obviously their GPUs essentially are going to be used for a crap ton of other things other than just gaming. So you have to, cons uh, you have to balance things like GPU capacity, sorry, um, manufacturing capacity, excuse me, plus GB202 presumably is going to be used for other things, um, as we've seen in the past. So it is going to be very interesting to see what the final configuration is going to be like. I'm going to leave it kind of your imagination what the pricing is going to be um ultimately I, I would i would probably say that you can't have a situation 
in which NVIDIA can charge like $2,500, obviously, for a card that's, let's say, 30 or 40% faster. Um, but are they going to release a 1590 Ti or a Titan? <laughs> I think it's pretty likely, honestly. Also, as is typical for YouTube, another piece of news popped up right the moment after I finished recording. Another well-known leaker, Hong Sing 2020, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, states on Twitter, Next Gen RTX 5090D is ready. 2025.1 is allegedly the release date. Now, obviously, this is either potentially the announcement or it could be the retail launch. Now, do remember that the D variants are basically cut down for China, so they are not necessarily indicative of A, the final specifications. In fact, they are almost certainly going to be cut back versus what we have in, let's say, the US or the United Kingdom. But also, the release date could be different. So it's possible... This is why we're hearing Q1 from some people and Q4 from others. Now, again, this doesn't really exactly confirm way, one way or another because it's very possible that NVIDIA are going to delay the release of the RTX 50 series until next year. And then we have an announcement which is going to be basically, let's say, in January. Or it's possible we could see the 50 series in, let's say, the West launch in Q4, or maybe some type of announcement, and that, again, could be slightly different from what we see in China. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Again, assuming Hong Sing's information is correct, but to be fair, they have had a pretty good track record in the past. But with that said, guys, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.